Hi, everybody. I'm Lauren Zima. And I'm Denny Directo. Thank you so much for joining us here on ET Live for the official recap of the 69th annual Primetime Emmy Awards. Yes, the show just ended, so we're going to be going over the biggest moments, the snubs, the surprises, the people we thought would win, and the people <laughs> who did win. So we want to know what you guys thought of the show. Leave your comments and questions on ET's Facebook page right now, and we will get them here on our iPad. And Denny and I, we're a little tired because we were actually at the show. We don't dress like this just for fun. <laughs> so uh, a good night. it was such a good night, and we can give you guys some insight and of course head to etonline.com for all of the big red carpet moments. Let's dive in. I mean there's so many talked about big moments of the show but I want to kick things off with the Big Little Sweep by Big Little Lies. We were fans of this uh, limited series from the beginning and we've been fanboy and fangirling out for, <laughs> like for everybody on this show and boy did they sweep it. Not only did they take outstanding limited series, Laura Dern won for, out, uh, for supporting actress, Alexander Skarsgård won oh. for supporting actor, and Queen Nicole Kidman took it for a lead actress in the limited series or movie, which was such a competitive race this season. Yes, this that was what everybody was saying was maybe the tightest race of the whole night. It was so awesome that Alexander Skarsgård won because he told E.T. he really wanted to win. Yeah. So he's her TV husband, she was the TV wife, and Nicole Kidman gave the sweetest acceptance speech, you guys. We're going to play a little bit of it for you. I also am a mother and a wife. I have two little girls, um, Sunny and Faith, and my darling Kitty, who I ask to help me pursue this artistic path and they have to sacrifice so much for it. So this is yours. I want my little girls to have this on their shelf and to look at it and go, every time my mama didn't put me to bed, it's because of this. <laughs> so sweet. Oh my so God. I, I mean, that. she is a woman who can do it all. And then you see Keith Urban and Reese Witherspoon in the audience both tearing up mm -hmm. with joy for her. And when she first came on stage, she said, Reese, this is for you and me. It's both. It's, it was a perfect speech. I have to say, no, that is how it's done, folks. Mm -hmm. That is a pro. That is a, you know, you get a lot of accolades and you're an acclaimed actress when you get up there and say a speech like that. I thought she absolutely nailed it, yes. moved us to tears. And Keith Urban, what a proud little hubby. Oh my God, you guys, we have to tell you. So on the red carpet, Carpet. Let me paint this picture. When <laughs> the actors and actresses get to the red carpet, E.T., we're the first ones there. We have this big platform. They come and talk to us. Nicole Kidman is being interviewed, and Keith Urban is just standing there, staring at her in, in awe of this woman. Yeah. And then as they're walking by, I just kind of grab Keith for a little moment. You know, he didn't do interviews, but he's like, she's looking extremely beautiful tonight. I couldn't be more proud of her. I'm always as proud of her. I love mm -hmm. that. No, they are couple goals, <gasps> relationship goals. Yes. Uh, but moving on to another big moment of the show, of course, Stephen Colbert was the night's host. I thought he killed it. Killed I thought it. it was so, so funny. Uh, it was a politically charged uh, monologue, and then I don't think anyone saw this coming. It was a surprise appearance by none other than Sean Spicer. Not Melissa McCarthy, Sean Actual Spicer. I think we have a little clip for you guys in case you missed it. Is there anyone who could say how big the audience is? Sean, do you know? This will be the largest audience to witness an Emmys, period, both in person and around the world. Wow, that really soothes my fragile ego. I can understand why you'd want one of these guys around. Melissa McCarthy, everybody, give it up. I mean, it quickly became such a viral moment. Uh, people are still talking about it, but two notable reactions. Yes. One, Melissa McCarthy, who played Sean Spicer on SNL, was kind of like, oh, no, they didn't. <laughs> like, they did, did they really get Sean Spicer here at the Emmys? Oh, yes, no. and then Anna Klumski <laughs> from Veep, of course, a politically charged show in itself, her jaw dropped. She's like, I mean, people are gifting those reactions. It truly was a moment of witnessing Hollywood being surprised. Absolutely. They were reacting along with the rest of us. And by by the way, Anna Klumski's reactions have been like that throughout the whole show. <laughs> I mean, I don't think anyone is more stoked to be at the Emmys than that Veep star. I know. It was amazing. <laughs> and uh, of course, we want to know what you guys thought of it. Were you surprised? Were you not? <clears throat> the thing is, people knew that this show, it kind of had to make, I mean, how could you not make those political jokes? And it was, it was awesome to have him out there. Yeah, so. that was pretty funny. Big reactions. And, you know, speaking 
speaking of a show that's political, SNL. I know, right? Kind of swept the night. You know, they mentioned to us on the carpet, Colin Jost talked to Lauren, and he told us, he's like, you know what, if it wasn't for uh, the current administration and the current political climate, they're not show sure SNL would be what it is today, and clearly it paid off, because not only did they win Outstanding Variety Sketch Series, Alec Baldwin won Supporting Actor in a Comedy Series for his portrayal of President <laughs> Donald Trump. I mean, I kind of called that. I think, we, I, think, I think we all did. That was pretty Emmy-worthy, I think. And also Kate McKinnon, who was up against two of our cast members, one outstanding supporting actress in a comedy series her second time in a row. So a lot of love for SNL. Yeah, and you know what? Kate McKinnon winning kind of shows how much people love her too because you would think with those multiple SNL noms that like SNL fans might split the, the votes, but people just really love Kate. Um, and E.T. talked to her backstage. She was hilarious uh, <laughs> telling us which after party she's going to be going to. So that'll be up soon at etonline.com. Um, and yeah, it, it's just really impressive that SNL, how many years and decades into being a show. So many years. And so many decades. And still on the forefront of that commentary, you know, despite right. the rise of the internet, despite things that go viral so quickly, days later they still have a lot to say about what's going on in our world. For so. a, over four decades, I think, they've been around and they're still collecting these trophies. Yes. 42 seasons, guys. 42 seasons of SNL. It's kind of insane. And you guys, your comments are coming in. Sandy says, so happy for Nicole. Was a beautiful speech. Agreed. And Paula says, love that Sterling K. Brown won. Well deserved. We're going to get to that, Paula, because we are. agree. Um, so SNL uh, just sw sweeping the night in many ways. And then we also had a lot of history-making, mm -hmm. record-breaking moments. Absolutely. Um, including Donald Glover. Yeah. He's, he was nominated, multiple nominations for Freshman Series Atlanta. Uh, it was a very buzzworthy show coming into the awards. Um, and I think Donald was a clear frontrunner. But not only did he take uh, Outstanding Actor in a Comedy Series, for which he was so excited about, he also became the very first, um, uh, he's first ever black best director and a comedy winner. Um, so he dedicated that to his family, his fans. Uh, uh, he said he's a fan like everybody else, and I think it was a really special moment. So another record breaker right there. Yes, and he revealed that he is expecting uh, baby number two during his speech, and we asked him about that backstage. So again, you can head over to etonline.com. So a really big night for him. And then also um, Hulu making waves right. uh, with uh, The Handmaid's Tale winning. I mean, another sw sweeper. Just getting in there and <laughs> swiffering. Handmaid's Tale won so many awards tonight. Uh, and Dowd was a surprise win. We'll get to that and then uh, Hulu became the first streaming service to win outstanding series for The Handmaid's Tale. It's like their Game of Thrones. It's kind of well, speaking of it's so funny that you mentioned that because I have to say Game of Thrones was ineligible this year for the Emmy, so it opened up the race for literally anybody to take it. And I love that so many new freshman TV series were being recognized Atlanta among them, Handmaid's Tale. So it was really exciting to see someone new become a possible Emmy darling, right? Yes, yeah. and now Amazon's just gonna kind of <laughs> get in there. I gotta give a shout out to Netflix. I feel like they set the stage for that, you know what I mean? Yeah. And who came in and swept it I know. and took it, but I mean, it wouldn't be what it is without Netflix and streaming services like that. It's awesome. I think there was something that everybody agreed uh, about on the red carpet tonight is just that this time for television yeah. is unbelievable in terms of the quality of shows that we're getting. Uh, more comments coming in from you guys. Robin says uh, that Glad Big Little Lies won along with with SNL. Um, Ashley says, Star Wars taking the Emmys. Laura Dern, Donald Glover, Riz Ahmed. Yes, yes, yes. So true. Fun fact. Star Wars <laughs> cast members are just taking Emmys tonight. Yeah, I love that. Thanks, Ash. Uh, and Bonnie loved this year's Emmys. Steven did a great job. He really did. Uh, another history maker tonight was uh, Master of Nuns Lena Waithes. She became the first African-American woman to win an Emmy for comedy writing. And it was such a touching speech. We want to play a little bit of that uh, for you guys now. God, thank God. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus. Let me reclaim my time. Give me a second. Um, I got to thank God or else I wouldn't be standing here. I want to thank my mother for inspiring the story and allowing me to share it with the world. I love you, Ma. Um, thank you, Aziz, for pushing me to co-write this, bro. Now we're standing here. I love you forever. Thank you and Alan for creating a show like Master of None where we can tell stories like this. Thank you, Netflix and Universal, for creating a beautiful playground for us to play on and shine. Ted and Cindy, we love you. Um, Melina, you are magic. Angela, you are a legend. Kim, you are a force. Uh, thank you for making this episode so special. To my girlfriend, I love you more than life itself. Alana, to my team, my chosen family, I love y'all. And last but certainly not least, my LGBTQTIA family. I see each and every one of you. The things that make us different. 
so it, powerful. It, her speech was so inclusive, and mm. it was just such a raw, emotional moment because, you know, she's not a name that is a household name. Right, so right. it was just somebody who's worked really hard in this industry winning. I talked to her on the red carpet before the show, and she was just as genuine and wonderful then. Mm. Um, wearing a very cool jacket, by the way. I loved her look. <laughs> right, and seriously. we also asked everybody about the amazing fashion tonight. So we'll talk. Uh, you guys can head over to our website for more coverage on that. But she just talked about, you know, the support of her girlfriend. Mm -hmm. She talked about uh, the support of Aziz Ansari and how they've just trailblazed with this show and how grateful she is for all of it. And she told us that she's also, she already felt like a winner. She was just excited mm -hmm. to be a part of the show. So I feel like she maybe had a speech prepared, but no matter what, she was there to have a good time. Like she was just so genuinely happy to be nominated and just included. Can I say, yeah. I will like never forget this quote and I asked her to write it into oh my Master of yeah. She said about her girlfriend, uh, she's not a trophy girlfriend, but she is a prize. She's a prize. I was like, write that into your show. I yes. was taking notes. So I was like, okay, <laughs> that's how it's done. That's how, that's how you do it. That's how you do it. Oh, guys, moving on to a huge record breaker. <sighs> no surprise here, but Julia Louis Dreyfus earned her sixth consecutive Emmy for uh, Veep. Yes. For playing President Selena Meyer. I mean, her sixth, the only actress to do so for the same role. She just always kills it at awards shows, and I continue to petition. Will she please host an awards show? Because that woman is so talented talented and amazing in every speech she gives. She cracks us up, yeah. she touches our hearts, and again, another kind of genuine overall agreement on the red carpet from so many people was that Julia Louis-Dreyfus is like the queen of her game. Mm. She is one of the most talented comedic actresses of all time, so deserving of these wins, and Veep won in several categories right. tonight, so good for Veep because they just announced it's gonna be the last season of the show soon. I'm so bummed about that, but yeah. you know what? I have to say, I'm excited for the nominees um, after Veep is gone, because I've for the past six years, I feel like if you've been nominated with Julia Louis-Dreyfus, you're probably going <laughs> You're that. like, <laughs> yeah, but like uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm happy to be here. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so here. many of you guys are saying what many of us were wondering if a lot of people would be saying across the country. Jamie, I was happy for Handmaid's Tale. Lisa, need to start watching Handmaid's Tale. <laughs> I feel like that's the thing. A lot of people are, have recognized and become obsessed right. and binge, binge watch this show. But for those who haven't, after tonight, they're like, I got to watch Handmaid's Tale. What am I missing out on here? I got to catch up. <laughs> I got to finish. Gosh. <laughs> right? Um, Adrian says Nicole Kidman looked amazing. She did. That mm. red gown was unbelievable. Unbelievable. Up close it was insane too. Uh, so let's move into Handmaid's Tale with some of the snubs and surprises of the night. A big surprise here, I think. Yes, another uh, woman who's not a household name but has been working in the industry a long time, Anne Dowd, won Best Supporting Actress for her role in Handmaid's Tale. Um, her speech was also just super sweet. Um, and this was her the first time this year she's ever been nominated mm -hmm. for an Emmy. She got nominated for this and for The Leftovers. Um, I interviewed her a couple times this weekend and those interviews are up. I just couldn't stop listening to the woman speak. She's like this angelic person. Presence, I love her. Can I say I think you're a people's good luck charm tonight? <laughs> like you talked to so many. Talk winners to me, I'll tonight. get you an Emmy. Oh my god. Get over here. Just say a word. Who are you wearing? Now I'm you have an Emmy. I'm gonna rub, rub the good luck <laughs> off. Um, another amazing surprise actually is Elizabeth Moss, who won for lead actress in a drama series for The Handmaid's Tale. Guys, get this. She has been nominated nine previous times, most of them for Mad Men, of course. And this was her first win. I thought she was so deserving of this. Another role that was so impactful. Um, and not only and she like burned a hole through the screen. Screen. She was so yes. good in it. Yeah. I kind of love that, you know, she was snubbed year after year for Mad Men, and now she wins for a pretty amazing show with a lot of women in the cast. In I the love that. Role. In the leading role, because yes. she was supporting in Mad Men, you know. Collect your mm -hmm. trophy, girl. Congratulations, Get boss. It. She just worked her way up. <laughs> um, and, you know, a lot of people are like, did she see the brilliance of TV? Because she hasn't done many movie roles, no. but she just killed it on TV, series after series. So good. Um, now, a possible bit of a snub here. Uh, this is us. <sighs> You guys, now, somebody commented earlier that they loved that Sterling won, and we did too, because mm. Sterling K. Brown's speech just now was amazing. And actually, he told me on Friday at a carpet that he didn't even have a speech prepared. He said he didn't have anything written. That's suspect. Do you not believe him? It well, was Well, because it was just so good. It was, it was so, so good. good. I mean, I believe him to be genuine yeah. and speak from the heart, but he kind of had to prepare something, I think maybe right? he had bullet points. I mean, he's so yeah. charismatic, uh, and he just lights up any stage he's on. But he won, but this is us overall. You know, everybody was wondering, is this going to be the year the network drama comes back? Because mm -hmm. a network drama is not one since 2006, 2004, I think. I think. Yeah, exactly. So it's been over no, a decade. you're right, 2006. It's yeah. 24. <laughs> 24 <laughs> was the last winner and it was in 2006. Yeah. yeah, so it's been a while and This Is Us did not manage to break that curse. Um, but, you know, it's only been one season, so yeah, they've exactly. got many seasons to come. I was going to say, we're going to get a lot more love mm -hmm. from This Is Us across the yes. board this upcoming TV season when season two drops. I'm just calling that right now. I know. It, it's kind of crazy that we're only up to season two because yeah. the love for the show has been so strong, people can't stop talking about 11 it. 11 total Emmy nominations this year, so I think that's why it was kind of like a, a front runner in a lot of races because it just earned so many accolades. Yeah. But happy Sterling won; I, it's so deserving. And you know what? This is us isn't going anywhere. So no. <laughs> and how 
funny and like small worldy as Hollywood sometimes. Milo Ventimiglia from This Is Us and Alexis Bledel from Handmaid's Tale, both at the Emmys tonight, formerly on Gilmore Girls, starred in the revival, dated at one point. It's just, I love Hollywood. Star Wars characters <laughs> apparently collected some Emmys tonight. Also tonight there was the, the 9 to 5 reunion with Dolly oh. Parton and Lily Tomlin and Jane Fonda who each earned an Emmy nomination this year too. Yes. You're right, I do love Hollywood. I love Hollywood. <laughs> uh, Lisa says, and doubt is why I love awards shows. A little known wow. actor winning and appreciating it so much. She was so overcome, it was amazing. So emotional. Uh, so let's talk, you know, kind of our favorite moments. What was yours? I did love that nine to five reunion. Um, I have to give a shout out to Oprah at the end there because she was Oprah being Oprah. And even in the voiceover reading the nominees for Outstanding Drama, you hear, better call Saul. <laughs> <laughs> call this. him. Yeah, right. This. <laughs> Is us. Like, it was so <laughs> classic Oprah. I loved that. Yeah, that was a highlight. I loved that she came out and she said, This is the final award of the night. <laughs> it's like, I am Oprah, obviously. I am Oprah. Here Thank I you. am. Uh, so with you on that. And what she was your looked amazing. Uh, Chris says, Jane Fonda was slaying with that ponytail. Chris. Did you see it? I talked to her, and guess who she told us she's inspired by? Gwen Stefani. Stefani. Jane Fonda wanted a Gwen Stefani look. God, I love her. But she ain't no holla back girl. <laughs> Um, you know, I love this trend of women. We're talking Oprah, we're talking Jane Fonda. Mm. One of my favorite moments of the night, we talked about when Nicole won on her own, but one of my favorite moments was when Big Little Lies won mm. and Reese Witherspoon and Nicole Kidman get up there and you can tell that it's just the realization of a lot of hard work for them is Absolutely. winning for this show. And they just talked about you know getting women on TV and getting them in these great parts. And Reese has been very active in saying like, look, she wasn't happy with the parts that were being right. presented to her as an actress, so she went out and she made something on her own that she could be proud of. And Isn't I it that. amazing to see those two women stand up there collecting that trophy as producers of the show and creating this work for other women. I mean, Nicole Kidman even said that this started out of, out of a friendship and mm -hmm. became an opportunity. So congrats on them. That was a, uh, that was a highlight. We love Hollywood. You know, I, we love, <laughs> notice, notice I memorized Nicole Kidman's speech. She's that good. She's that good. Uh, right. So guys, of course, like I said, E.T. is all over the Emmys this year. We were on the red carpet. We are backstage right now. We're going to be at the after parties. So definitely head to etonline.com for all the latest. And of course, watch E.T. tomorrow night to see the best fashion moments and everything you didn't see on Speaking TV. Speaking of, don't forget to join us back here at ET's Facebook page tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. We are breaking down all the fashion on the red carpet from last night. Yes. So, and uh, we'll probably sprinkle in some backstage moments from you guys from our interviews with ET. We always want to know your thoughts and we want to say thank you to our friends at Fiji Water for helping us get this off the ground and talking Emmys and letting us do what we love. So That's thanks to right. Fiji Water, keeping us hydrated on the red carpet. And thank you guys for watching. We'll see ya. Bye guys.